All right, guys, we are at the end of the week and we are back for some more championship transfer rumours. Plenty to discuss right now. We're into the full swing of things. We've done deals going through. We've got players being recalled from their clubs and going elsewhere. It's all going off in the championship right now. As always, want to get your thoughts on all of the recent rumours in the comments down below. But without any further ado, let's jump in. We spoke about this one last time, but Luke Kundal's loan deal to Stoke City has since been confirmed. A blow for Plymouth with him being recalled after how well he got on in the first half of the campaign but Schumacher clearly having that pull having previously worked with the player and two deals already for Stoke and Kundal and Iverson both coming in on loan I'd say that's a pretty promising start to their January business. We discussed this one last time as well but Hull have completed the loan deal for Liverpool's Fabio Carvalho really looking forward to seeing him back in the championship and Hull have pulled off some absolute blinders this season especially when it comes to the loan market. Carvalho Valio should really fit into the way they play, gives them them another creative element when they are missing a few players know that Liam Delap set to be sidelined for quite a while and obviously Jaden Philogene still coming back from injury right now so to plug some of those gaps and that Carvalho could be really useful. A move for Luke Aylin had been on the cards for quite some time and this one has since been confirmed the experienced defender going over to Middlesbrough. I think this could be a situation where it suits all parties I know that his experience behind the scenes was probably quite useful at Leeds but wasn't getting that much of a look in there. I think that at the Riverside will add quite a bit of experience to that back line for Michael Carrick's side. Obviously another departure we saw from Leeds United was Jed Spence who returned to Spurs and he won't be heading back to the championship as he's since headed out on loan to Genoa and the Italian club do have an option to buy him for around about 10 million. Now it was an interesting situation. Daniel Farker's comments about Spence have been quite revealing as to why this was the case. Had a bit of an injury in the first half of the season which was a bit frustrating. Did get handed some chances over the festive period but clearly not the best personality in that Leeds group perhaps. Sheffield Wednesday have completed the loan deal for Ike Ugbo who spent the first portion of the season out on loan with Cardiff. Did have a promising start to his loan spell with Cardiff but somewhat faded as the season went on. Did score a late goal uh, when Cardiff came to Deepdale. Looking forward to seeing how he gets on there at Wednesday. Coventry have landed the deal for Danish midfielder Victor Torp. I'm excited to see him in action in the championship. He's just coming off the back of an excellent individual season in the North Norwegian league and having only watched a few small snippets of him from clips on Twitter and things like that looks a tidy player and at 24 years old is someone who Coventry can look to develop. Bit of positive news for Plymouth fans they have lost a few players in recent weeks but they have brought in Darko Giavi coming in from Leeds United for the remainder of the season on loan. The towering midfielder gives them another option in midfield. Still looks fairly raw but I think this loan spell could really benefit both him and Plymouth with the extra game time that he should be afforded and that extra body he'll add into that Plymouth squad. But those are some of the done deals that have gone through in the championship over these past few days. Now, without any further ado, let's hop into the rumours. Newcastle midfielder Isaac Hayden has taken one step closer to moving back to the championship. He has spent the first half of the season out on loan in Belgium, but that loan spell has since been cut short and he is now expected to head out on loan to a championship club for this second portion of the campaign. We previously mentioned the sides that have been interested the likes of Birmingham, Chef Wed, Blackburn and Plymouth all in the conversation. The interest in Sunderland winger Jack Clark isn't going away anytime soon. Currently as many as six Premier League clubs are interested in his services and a couple of championship clubs have also been thrown into the frame recently with both Leicester and Southampton both credited with interest. Now Sunderland are still in a strong position when it comes to Clark. He's still got another two and a half years on his deal at the Stadium of Light so under no pressure to cash in right now or anything like that they've already rebuffed a couple of bids from the summer window. As of recording the Premier League clubs who have all been mentioned with a bit of interest have been Crystal Palace Burnley, Wolves, Everton and Bournemouth along with West Ham too who we mentioned in one of the previous videos. I do think we'll get into a situation where unless a gigantic bid was to come in I'm not sure I can see him being sold at this point. Heading into the summer, I think we're having a different conversation about it. At this stage of the season, though, if Sunderland are going to be serious about their playoff aspirations, I don't think they can afford to lose Clark. 
As many as three Premier League clubs are interested in Southampton's Che Adams, Wolves probably the most interested right now, having recently uh, reportedly made an inquiry. Wolves' interest in Adams dates back to at least the summer when they were asking about him quite a bit. Now, it's an interesting situation with Adams. His contract with Southampton is up in the summer, so theoretically, if he's not going to extend that, this would be their last chance to cash in on him. <sighs> In saying that, I do think Adams could be a really useful player in this second half of the season. While he's not been a guaranteed starter for them, off the bench he's been really useful. I think he's got four goals in his last seven matches. To Southampton right now, promotion to the Premier League would mean a hell of a lot more than whatever fee they could get for Adams in January. And it would be crucial that they sign the replacement. In an ideal situation, maybe they would be happy to let Adams go and they'd have Ross Stewart back in the frame. But as he's set to be out until the end of the season, they don't have that luxury to rely upon right now. So Saints fans would be interested to get your take on Adams down down below and whether you cash in or not. A couple of championship clubs have been asking about Fulham forward Rodrigo Munoz who could go back out on loan uh, to a championship club in January obviously spent last season out on loan with Borough. Didn't really pull up that many trees during his loan spell with Middlesbrough. Wasn't handed that many starts either. Uh, just nine starts, eight appearances off the bench. He scored two goals in that time. We'll see over these next few days if we get any more developments from Bristol City and QPR who have been credited with the interest recently. Leeds and Southampton seem to be the two clubs most interested in taking Bournemouth winger David Brooks on loan for the remainder of the season and that'll be a really interesting tug of war to see who comes out on top. Both keen on adding a wide midfielder on the right it would seem and it would be great to see Brooks back in the championship perhaps in need of a loan spell to properly get his career back up and going again get those regular minutes in his legs and when he is fully on song he absolutely can be a difference maker in the championship. Now from Bournemouth perspective it could be a case where they're not willing to actually sanction his exit until right at the end of the January window as they are losing a couple of wingers to AFCON right now. That's a story though which I'm sure will continue to develop over these next few days and weeks. It's no secret that Leeds will be after another right back in this window after offloading Luke Ayling and Jed Spence having his loan spell cut short. They have been using Archie Gray in that position quite a bit this season but by signing another right back that would fit into the Fox system I think that would allow Archie Gray to go back into midfield perhaps which I think is naturally probably his best position. Burnley's Connor Roberts is one player being mentioned right now. Uh, surprisingly hasn't had as many minutes in the Premier League for Burnley this season as I originally would have thought. I think that's been the case for a lot of the key performers last season from the Championship squad for Burnley that have gone up to the Premier League. They've made a lot of changes, maybe too many too quickly, but last season Roberts, a fantastic performer in the Championship for Burnley. Four goals and six assists from fullback. I think would be a very good option for Leeds and you can see why they're tracking him. West Ham's Ben Johnson is another option for Leeds that they're said to be considering right now. He is out of contract with the Hammers at the end of the season. Hasn't had that much of a look in recently. Doesn't appear as if a new contract is on the horizon for him right now at West Ham and so a move to the Championship could well be on the cards. Recently saw a mention with Leeds and Ryan Giles as well. I mean Giles would be a terrific addition for Leeds. He was absolutely fantastic on loan with Middlesbrough last season in the Championship. 11 assists from that sort of left wing back role. Luton obviously spent a lot of money on him in the summer but he's not had that much of a look in into their starting 11 so far this season just five starts for him as it's often been Alfie Doherty used down that left hand side remains to be seen if Luton would be willing to let him go out on loan though and weaken their overall squad as they're in a uh, real survival battle right now in an ideal world though with the way Leeds like to play someone like Giles pushed really far up on that left hand side would be absolutely brilliant but I'm not sure I can see that one happening and along with looking at some fullbacks if they are looking for a central defender Chris Mempham is another player who I have have seen mentioned with Leeds. They've been linked with a bunch of Welsh players at the moment, aren't they? But the Bournemouth defender hasn't had that much of a look in so far this season, just two starts in the Premier League. Very competent defender at Championship level, and if he is made available, you can see why there would be Championship interest. 
On last time's video, we spoke about Sheffield Wednesday's interest in West Ham midfielder Connor Coventry. Well, that deal will no longer be taking place as he's now off to League One to sign for Charlton instead. Will be interesting to see what alternative targets Wednesday explore in this position with Coventry now off the table. We knew that Ipswich were going to be after a new number nine in this January transfer window and reportedly they've had two bids knocked back for Blackburn forward Sam Gallagher. Now this would be an interesting deal. Gallagher hasn't featured that much for Rovers so far this season has had a few injury problems throughout the season reportedly so the two bids that have been knocked back have been worth 1 million and 1.5 million so it'll be interesting to see what sort of figure rovers are holding up out for right now of course they did pay significantly more than that to get gallagher back in the day but has lost quite a bit of transfer value since that point with an expiring contract on the horizon and having only played just over 200 minutes for blackburn this season I wouldn't be surprised if they did cash in i'm not sure how much more it's going to take over that 1.5 million for Rovers to be tempted to cash in. Another option potentially on the table for Ipswich is Radjovic at Watford, which I find an interesting transfer link. He has scored eight goals for Watford in the Championship so far this season, but formal season has been a little bit patchy, I'd say. If they are unsuccessful with bringing Gallagher in, it'll be interesting to see what sort of bid Ipswich will be prepared to go in for for a player like Radjovic and what Watford would be willing to sell him for. And reports from Bristol City coming out that Andy Vyman is in talks with West Brom. Now, this one would be an interesting transfer. It's a situation Vyman finds himself in at Ashton Gate where his contract is up at the end of the season. Probably worth saying his form hasn't been... The best he's not been at the peak of his powers over this last say 12 or so months but you always get 100 when andy vyman is on the pitch and what a player he has been in years gone by for bristol city i'm sure a lot of those fans would be sad to see him moved on sure we'll get a few more updates on that story over these next few days as we see how that one progresses with west brom well, guys there we have it that will now wrap it up for today's video thank you very much for tuning in if you did go into enjoy make sure to leave a like and make sure to stick around and subscribe for some regular championship content. Plenty is going to go down in this January transfer window and you won't want to miss any of it. Other than that though, guys, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.